On Christmas Day, the official Tesla Twitter account announced that the Tesla team has achieved a new milestone for 4680 battery production, reaching 868,000 cells produced in a seven day period. While this announcement in many ways is very positive and exciting, it's also left me with a little bit of concerns as well. So if you stick around, I'll provide some context and let you know why. I'm John and this is CleanerWatt. Back in September of 2020 at Tesla's Battery Day, Tesla unveiled their new 4680 battery technology and with this announcement, they also laid out an extremely aggressive timeline of reaching 100 gigawatt hours per year in 2022 and 3 terawatt hours per year in 2030, which as I'll talk about more later on in the video, this kind of aggressive ramp up is way quicker than the industry average. Now, when it comes to how Tesla is doing towards achieving these aggressive goals, if you've been following Tesla's progress uh, closely at all, you know that um, Tesla is nowhere near to even a run rate of 100 gigawatt hours of 4680 battery production right now here at the end of 2022. But this December 25th tweet from Tesla does provide a very important update for us, and it does show that the Tesla team is making some progress. Nonetheless, when put in its proper context, this announcement is both great and concerning at the same time. When it comes down to some of the reasons why, I think it's important that we talk about Tesla's progress from several months ago until now. How much have they improved since, for instance, late August of 2022? When I initially saw this tweet from Tesla, I thought that the 868,000 uh, production rate per week was for their pilot line only. However, as Joe Tegmeyer made very clear in a December 26th Giga Austin drone video posted on his YouTube channel, this rate clearly includes Tesla's Giga factory in Austin, Texas, and also uh, their pilot line in Fremont, California. As Joe pointed out in his YouTube video, this image that Tesla shared on their Twitter account is inside of the Texas Giga factory, and you can see the cell team there. It's quite large, a very large cell team. And I was able to confirm that this picture is the outside of their pilot facility in Fremont, California, and a team that runs the cell lines there. I'll talk more about the significance of that in just a minute, but I want to talk about some positive things first about this announcement. First of all, when you extrapolate this out, 868,000 battery cells per week means that they're making roughly 124,000 battery cells daily. Or if you extrapolate that out to an annual run rate, that's somewhere around 45.26 million battery cells being made per year. In terms of how many Model Ys Tesla can build with these battery cells, we know that the Model Y with the structural battery pack has 828 individual 4680 battery cells. So that rate is enough for 150 roughly Model Ys to be built each day, a bit over a thousand Model Ys each week, and over 54,000 Model Ys being built at an annual rate. In addition, this image that Tesla shared of the Gigafactory Texas cell team, as you can see, there's a lot of employees in this picture. This is a very big team that Tesla has at Gigafactory Texas. So with that and the fact that they included the cell production numbers combined between these two facilities, this gives me a lot of hope and is, I believe, good confirmation that Gigafactory Texas appears to be making good progress on their 4680 production ramp. So that's the positive side of all this. And in many ways, that's very encouraging and has me very excited. However, when I actually take a step back and look at this 868,000 battery cells per week production number in its proper context, it actually becomes a little less impressive in some ways and leads me a little bit concerned about the rate of improvement of Tesla's 4680 production ramp. For instance, in a video that I published on my channel back in September of 2022 this year, um, I mentioned that Tesla had achieved a rate of 60,000 individual 4680 battery cells being produced per day out of their Fremont Cato Road battery facility. I was also told at that time that Tesla had been somewhat stuck at that rate for around two months. 
when it comes to really putting some of this on a timeline, um, this information about 60,000 battery cells being produced per day was relayed to me in late August of this year. And with what we know from the 4680 battery that Jordan from the limiting factor had analyzed and its energy capacity of 86.5 watt hours per battery cell, we can calculate that at that time, the Fremont factory extrapolated out to an annual run rate of a bit under two gigawatt hours per year or enough 4680 battery cells to build over 20 26,000 Model Ys. Moving forward in time, in late September, Dylan from the Electrified YouTube channel shared an important update in one of his videos, and he mentioned at that time, based on his sources, that Tesla had reached a run rate of over 100,000 battery cells per day at the Cato Road pilot line, and that Giga Texas at that time was producing somewhere around 10,000 battery cells per day. So with a combined rate of 110,000 battery cells per day in late September of 2022 for the Fremont and Gigafactory Texas cell lines, you can see that that extrapolates out to an annual run rate of over 3.4 gigawatt hours per year or enough battery cells to build over 48,000 Model Ys. Now, when it comes to how much Tesla has improved from late September to late December, using that number that Tesla provided, 868,000 battery cells being produced per week, that extrapolates out to a rate of 124,000 battery cells being produced per day and an annual run rate of over 45 million battery cells, which represents a rate of just under four gigawatt hours per year or enough 4680 battery cells to build over 54,000 Model Ys. Now you might be asking now why these numbers have me just a little bit concerned. Because after all, hitting an annual run rate of enough 4680 battery cells to produce over 54,000 Model Ys per year, that is very impressive. However, it doesn't appear like Tesla's production ramp has improved very much over the last three months. So they may be still dealing with some production issues that they're trying to figure out, which could slow down Tesla's progress in the future and make it take a little bit longer than I would have thought to get to, a, for instance, a fully ramped up initial production capacity of 100 gigawatt hours for Gigafactory Texas and in the future Gigafactory Berlin. For instance, from late August to late September of 2022, Tesla's battery cell production output increased by a huge number, 83%. However, in the three months that followed from late September to late December, that number has only increased 13%. In addition, from the end of September to the end of December, which once again is a three month period, it doesn't look like Tesla's pilot facility has been able to really surpass that 100,000 battery cells per day. As I've mentioned in the past, Drew Baglino and Elon Musk made it very clear at their battery day event that this pilot facility was designed to produce 10 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. Of course, we know based on comments from Elon Musk in conference calls that Tesla has had a number of issues ramping up their 4680 battery production. He mentioned some issues in conference calls. I've talked about various issues in some of my past videos, which I'll link in the video description below if you're curious, uh, but there are a number of issues that Tesla has been able to overcome and improve on, but apparently there still are issues that they're working on. In addition, it doesn't appear like Tesla has yet perfected manufacturing dry process cathodes, which are of course an important part of this 4680 battery and um, simplifying manufacturing. So we still have that issue that is likely unsolved. Now, I don't want to be all negative on this because once again, I believe that the Tesla team has done a great job and I want to temper this just a bit by saying maybe Tesla is not trying to ramp up their pilot line to the planned 10 gigawatt hours per year because after all, in the grand scheme of things, when Tesla is producing hundreds and possibly thousands of gigawatt hours per year in the future, 10 gigawatt hours will just be a drop in the bucket compared to that. And maybe Tesla has shifted their focus in this Fremont pilot facility to the R&D side uh, because that's really what a pilot facility is for after all, it's not about pushing out mass production. It's about figuring out the processes that you then roll out at their larger gigafactories. Also, this factory is tasked with developing their next generation of 4680 battery cells and to perfect the dry electrode manufacturing process, especially on the cathode side. 
If you take a look at this announcement with that lens, it actually looks a little better that maybe Tesla is focusing more of their uh, growth attention on Gigafactory Texas and they're okay with their Fremont pilot facility not growing much past where they are now. That's a definite possibility. There's also the addition of something I mentioned earlier on in the video, and that's the fact that Tesla set some extremely aggressive goals for their 4680 battery production, which are much more aggressive than what the industry would normally set. For example, I was recently chatting with an industry expert, Lars Leisdahl from Rystead Energy, and it was mentioned in that conversation that traditionally in the industry, it's expected to take somewhere around two to six years to fully ramp up a battery cell production line. So Tesla wanting to go from battery day in September of 2020 to 100 gigawatt hours per year in 2022, that's extremely aggressive. And the reality of the situation is that the industry knows it takes longer than that. And so it should have been expected that Tesla wouldn't be able to reach that goal at that time. Now, Tesla has proven a lot of people wrong with other things, but the reality of the situation is Tesla said, I think too aggressive of a goal. And uh, I believe they will hit future milestones, but that initial goal was just a little too aggressive. Another piece of added perspective that I've mentioned in past videos comes down to the 2170 production ramp by Panasonic at Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada. That factory began production in 2017 and it wasn't until um, 2022 that they reached a rate of 36 to 39 gigawatt hours per year. So in the short of it, it takes quite a while to ramp up a battery production line and Tesla is realizing right now just how hard that is. Now when it comes to Tesla's much more ambitious goal of producing three terawatt hours per year um, by 2030, which of course is extremely aggressive as well, um, if you take a look at, for instance, a chart here from Bloomberg, which illustrates the production curve of the Tesla Model 3 from 2017 uh, to sometime around mid 2019 when they stopped tracking this, you can see how slow Tesla's progress was at the beginning, but then they hit their stride and the growth became much more exponential. So basically with any production ramp, progress at the beginning is slow and it's hard to estimate um, some of those earlier goals, for instance, hitting 100 gigawatt hours by 2022. Setting a goal of 100 gigawatt hours per year and achieving that goal seems to be much more difficult than, for instance, even that larger goal of three terawatt hours per year by 2030 because of the potential exponential growth curve of Tesla's 4680 battery production. Obviously, I don't know the future, but based on Tesla's past experience of figuring out problems and solving problems and ramping up, for instance, the Model 3, the Model why um, and doing a great job with that. I believe that Tesla will figure all this out and that at some point in the near future, Tesla will start up that more exponential growth curve. And I believe we're going to see that in the future. With that being said, there is one other topic that I'd like to talk about in this video, and that is where are all these 4680 battery cells going? The 868,000 battery cells that Tesla is producing per week, what is Tesla doing with all these? Well, it appears like based on images that were shared by Joe Tegmeyer on his Twitter account, which are screenshots from the drone video footage that he took of Gigafactory Austin on that day, you can see in that far right-hand top corner image, I have an arrow pointing to a stack of crates, which actually are 4680 structural battery packs. As Fran pointed out in response to Joe Tagmeyer's tweet, each one of these boxes or crates is stamped with YSB, which likely stands for Model Y Structural Battery Pack. Here's a close up of those crates and you can see the YSB there on the crate. And then you can also see that at the top of those battery packs, you can see the seat rails attached to the top of that battery pack, which indicates to me a confirmation that this is indeed a structural battery pack for the Model Y. You can see that there are quite a few of these battery packs stacked up just in this area. So it appears like possibly in 2023, Tesla will officially make the 4680 equipped Model Y more readily available and maybe even add it to the website for ordering. I hope that's the case because I think a lot of people would like to have that vehicle. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, maybe Tesla is going to save some of these batteries for the Cybertruck production that's going to hopefully begin early next year as well. At the end of the day, while the 4680 production ramp has been slower than Tesla would have hoped, they really are in line with industry averages and the time it normally takes to ramp up a cell production line. 
And you also have to remember that before Tesla started manufacturing 4680 batteries, they really had no battery cell manufacturing experience other than the little bit that they could glean from Panasonic's operations at Gigafactory Nevada. While I do wish more progress was being made and that the ramp up was going a little quicker than it is, I do have confidence that Tesla will continue to make steady progress. And in just a few years, it's very strongly possible that Tesla will be producing hundreds, if not thousands of gigawatt hours per year of 4680 batteries. Do let me know in the comment section below what you think about all this. I'd love to hear from you. And also I wanna say a special thank you to my Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.